Mandy. I want to talk to Ming, but also, like, I have to put on, I'm going for a walk. I'm just getting outside for the first time in days. Mm. Oh, it's so, like, it's it smells really nice outside. It's like that beautiful, sunny, crisp, cold weather. It is, isn't it? That's hang out in town weather. Yeah, it's really, really nice. Um, and I was like, I haven't been outside in five days. Should go outside. Good morning, past Bing. It's funny you should mention teamwork, because yesterday I spent almost the entire day alone marking student work, except for one shining little moment where we had a production meeting for the new Ed's World short. He's getting better. <laughs> He's getting better. <laughs> So, long bad madness has hit him. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I think we've lost him. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Say hi to Past Bing. Hey, Past Bing, how you doing? What a nice. jackass he is. What a douche. <laughs> Every episode that goes by, it's like, I, it's really important to spend time with people. I, lo I don't like being alone. And yet. I've been watching it, it's so, it's so hilarious. <laughs> it's tough, it's tough. Ooh. It's tough going. Watching you talk about the importance of teamwork and socializing and being around people, it's very difficult for me. But you'll be glad to know that I do work as part of a team. I am collaborating with other people on a regular basis. In the time that I've been involved with Ed's World, we've gone from basically just Matt and me, shipping t-shirts out of their attic with Katie's help and starting everything up from scratch again, to running a team of over 15 people. And that is the most collaborative and rewarding thing that I'm doing right now. So I finished my market. Today is Friday, I have a lot of stuff to do, but I don't have any deadlines. Well, I mean, we have production deadlines coming up, but I don't have any deadlines right now. And I'm gonna take full advantage of that. So first up, I'm gonna log into the Ed's World Discord. I'm gonna check up on all of the channels and all of the different projects. I'm then gonna spend some time going over the website. We are in the process of building a kind of gallery system on the website so that we can put all the Instagram originals over there, as well as stuff that we have found through the archive project. Old sketches, works in progress, drawings that never made it into anything. I'm probably gonna hop on a couple of calls with the team. We're working on new merch right now as well, so I'm hoping to get the t-shirt order like locked in today, in the bag, so that we can start shipping them next month. And then, because it's beautiful outside, I'm gonna take you for a walk. You've earned it. <laughs> yes, you have. A lot of the work that I do on a daily basis for Ed's World is ostensibly very boring. Like right now, I am going through our archive of Instagram originals from when we started doing them in 2019 all the way to the present day. I'm downloading them off Drive and then I am inputting them into the website, into the main edsworld.co.uk website. So that's gonna take a long time. I'm probably gonna do a bunch of them today and then delegate to the team once I've got a system for it. This is the stuff that you don't see. But, I enjoy it, right? Even this stuff, when I'm alone and I'm really just doing like data management, it's fun because it's in service of something bigger and I know that it is benefiting a whole bunch of people. Like getting this stuff done, even behind the scenes without anyone watching, present company excluded, is part of the process. And I know that it's generating value. I know that it's going to entertain people, earn money, and help sustain this team. Hello. Hey baby, how's it going? Fine, thank you. How are you? Uh, I'm good, I'm good. Just a quick one, and it was easier to call you than text. Um, yep. Can I post some stuff to Patreon from... Depends what you're posting. We don't want to give away the joke. Yeah, exactly. So um, that's why I wanted to call you. Can I show them maybe some of the back, some of these like red lined uh, backgrounds, maybe? You know, yeah, the, some, yeah. like some of the red lined backgrounds are fine. Bit of the fine, but nothing that alludes to the. I don't wanna be loved by you. Be loved by you. 
I don't need to be hurt or rescued, not by you. So close, you're eating my space. Don't inhale so much, you're choking me. Oh, everything you think you own or have the right to. I took a walk. Uh, this is the furthest I've walked from my apartment all year. Just up the high street and back again to see what's changed. And the answer is not much. There are people in the street. There's food vendors out. Uh, a couple places open doing takeaway food, takeaway coffee. But most shops on the high street are closed. For you, past being this would look unusual, but I'm used to it. As the cold set into my fingers and I got to the end of the high street, I realized I wasn't in a good mood anymore. How is it that going outside could make me feel more isolated? You're gonna find out soon enough. Businesses are closed, shops are closed, we can't meet at the pub, we can't go to restaurants. Collaboration is still happening. It's just happening somewhere else. Floor four. And the spoils of my journey, my first donut of 2021.